Hello, my name is David Rankin. I'm a professional watercolor painter in Cleveland, Ohio. But I am uh, doing a workshop coming up here and it's called Mastering Watercolor's Middle Values and it's going to be held down at Cheap Joe's Art Workshops down in Boone, North Carolina. And it comes up next week. And what we're going to be working on is this whole concept that I have been developing over the years called Watercolor's Middle Values. What are these? What do I mean by this? Well, in order to understand this, you have to go back and begin to look at the artists of the 1800s and understand how it is that they did what they did. They didn't have iPhones and computers and all the technology and apps that we have today. How did they do such magical works of art without all of these technologies that we have today? They did so because they had a skill. They had a ability to work with values. They understood values in their paintings. They understood the middle values and then they understood one extra thing, and that was how to place the darkest values in the painting. Once you build the middle values, where you place the darkest darks has a tremendous impact. Here's an artist that I love, Ted Kautsky. This is how I learned how to paint in watercolor. Look what Ted did here. He put the darkest darks here in the foreground plane in this magically beautiful lit painting that he did. Of the harbor on the East Coast. Here's another one from the East Coast, Milholt. And look at this wonderful painting he did. But instead of putting the darkest darks in the foreground like Kautsky, he put the darkest darks there in the middle distance. And it creates a magical depth. But the one I like the best is the artist by the name of John Singer Sargent. Every watercolor painter knows Sargent. And here in Sargent's paintings, look at this. He put the darkest darks in the far distance. This understanding of the darkest darks is so important that I have extracted them out of one of Sargent's paintings. Can you tell which painting this is of Sargent's? Well, you will when you see it in the painting. Here's his famous series of paintings called Bedouins. And you can see how 90% of this painting is constructed with middle values. It's only the darkest darks in those uh, figures there in the foreground that focal your, focus your attention on this foreground plane. The darkest darks are so important, and yet they are not where the emotion is. The emotion of the painting is in the middle values. Here again, I've extracted the darkest darks. It's very important to the painting, but the real magic, the real emotion in your paintings is in the middle values. So you have to understand both of these characteristics of your painting, and you have to learn how to manipulate them. The darkest darks have tremendous impact but they're usually a much smaller portion of your painting. And what you need to remember when you're building your painting is that the magic is in the middle values. Look at the visual impact here when we bring in the middle values. The darkest darks don't tell us much. It's the middle values that deliver the emotion. And so in this particular workshop, we're going to work on the middle values and the darkest darks and the manipulation of all of them so that a painting like this that has just a little bit of darkest darks and a little bit of white left in the painting the rest of it is all middle values and that's where the overall impact is so we only have a couple days before we start this workshop next week and I recommend that you, if you want to come, please come. There's a couple spots left. It's going to be a big workshop. 
but get a hold of Cheap Joe's down in Boone, North Carolina, and I hope to see you there.